Let's examine the multicast messaging technique for Bluetooth mesh networks. Bluetooth mesh implements managed flood message relay to transmit information from a source to a destination. Communication between a switch and a connected light is a good example. Managed flood message relay is a modified version of traditional flood networking. One of the unique elements of managed flood is the introduction of a time to live message counter. When a source node sends out a message, there's an associated counter value, 3 for instance, and that value is reduced by 1 each time a relay node retransmits the message. This ensures messages only have a set time to live in order to minimize network congestion. Message caching is used to prevent nodes from hearing and resending the same message. Relay nodes are unique nodes that retransmit received messages to the rest of the network. Let's take a look at what happens when the relay function is turned on. When the light switch button is pressed, it broadcasts a message to turn on the light. All the nodes within range hear the message, but only the relay nodes retransmit the message. The message is relayed in this manner until it's received and turns on the light. Time to live and message caching prevented the message from being rebroadcast throughout the network. In order to support battery powered and low power applications, Bluetooth Mesh defines a low power function. The companion functions of friend and low power nodes together support battery powered devices. A good example is a temperature sensor. The temperature sensor implements the low power function. It broadcasts that it's a low power node to its neighbors. Any nodes with the friend function implemented respond and the low power node associates with a specific friend node. Friend nodes cache messages and allow the low power node to remain asleep until a predetermined time when it wakes up to receive the cached message. The time interval could be seconds, minutes, hours, up to four days. It all depends on what's appropriate for the application. Let's examine the low power function in action. The thermostat sends a message to the temperature sensor to change the time interval which temperature data is reported. The message is relayed through the network to the point where the friend node hears the message and realizes the message is for its low power companion. The friend node caches and holds on to the message. The low power node later wakes up at its predetermined time. The low power node informs the friend node it's awake in order to receive any cached messages. The friend node then relays the cached message to the low power node and the setting is changed.